Professor Aaron Goldhirsch, you're the co-chair of the 10th Milan Breast Cancer Conference. What's really hot this 10th uh, meeting? I was the co-chair from since the first one, and actually every year there were news. Some of the news are summarized in the observatory uh, session, which is a session where we give uh, the opportunity to um, scholars and uh, opinion leaders to express their opinion about what will change in the next year and see whether their provision and their, uh, uh, their view will uh, actually match reality. And uh, the main things are actually related to the fast pace of small improvements in diagnostics and especially in therapeutics. The main wish is to see some biomarkers emerging from areas like uh, molecular imaging, like uh, testing for molecular uh, markers to be more predictive for new treatments for the, in the future. The other uh, feature is to try to dissect the population at risk uh, and identify those patients, those women who are actually at higher risk in order to improve diagnostics, early diagnostics, in uh, a uh, very focused uh, population. The uh, third large area of research and of wish to have some advantage and benefit is the area of uh, local control of disease. The attempt of finding a treatment which is focused on the tumor leaving as much as normal tissue in place is actually the trend that has characterized this meeting from the beginning and where the strong desire is still uh, among the participants to see really uh, advances and progress in this field. I think back to your first one, this is taking the subdivision and the people by targets, patients by targets. You chaired an interesting session, um, made a very uh, pointed and I thought accurate comment about the confusion, particularly in the receptor field, particularly in the, in the triple negative area. And you, you did, however, optimistically say that confusion was the seedbed of, uh, of, of new research. research. So uh, then, what, was your, uh, what did you take from all that? Well, the main feature uh, which can be uh, learned from such a session is to see that indeed we know much less than what we should have known and that new information actually opens the door to several other questions, which is the basis for clinical and translational research to make a change, a real change in the field. So I am really very much optimistic about the state of the confusion. I think now we are soberly confused and that is the basis for really designing new investigations in the field. And then the area of biomarkers and uh, picking this out is, high risk people? This is, is exactly, kind of this is exactly uh, the the uh, main uh, area where progress can be done because we need very good biomarkers for both efficacy, for responsiveness of the disease, and for safety, for being sure that what we give our patients is really safe for days, months, and years of use because some of the treatments will take many years to actually uh, uh, give them the maximum of the benefit to the patient or the, to, to the population. So I am quite optimistic about uh, to where we are going. I am quite confused as a researcher about the, uh, the next outcome because otherwise I wouldn't have been a researcher. You don't have to worry quite so much as the surgeons and the radiation therapists about local disease. That was your third point for the observatory. Um, we've been watching from within the European Institute of Oncology the excitement generated by the Elliott trial, intraoperative uh, electrons. Um, is that progressing apace? Is, is, is that going to I think there is a uh, major progress there, uh, especially uh, with the views of uh, our institution, because 
we really make a change in the field of maintaining as much as possible the normal tissue in place with the obvious advantage for uh, both uh, the feeling of the patient about her body image and of being sure we didn't arm uh, more than what was needed. So I think the local, uh, the, the local control aspect of the multidisciplinary approach to breast cancer and to women with breast cancer is uh, one which uh, puts us together with the surgeon with the same types of feelings uh, about the issue. Congratulations on your 10th consecutive Milan Breast Cancer Conference. Thank you very much, uh, Professor McVeigh. Thank you.